Hello guys, today I want to quickly show you the difference what happens if you delete the record in the database or with Eloquent versus if you truncate the full table, what happens with the IDs auto increments. There is a slight difference which may be important if you want your IDs to go in sequence without any spaces. So for example, you have a default users table and you just delete the record. Let's delete that directly in the database or the same would happen if you go from eloquent user where delete or user find delete something like that and now let's try to add a new user for example with user factory create from php storm what do you think would be the id of new user one or two let's find out we run the factory and the id of new user is not one although the table is empty we refresh and new record is created with id two in other words, if you delete any records in the database with delete statement, delete SQL statement, it doesn't refresh auto increments and doesn't free them up for new IDs. It just continues the sequence from the last inserted record. The difference is if you truncate the full table. So in the MySQL client, I use table plus in my case, truncate the table. If I click OK, and then after we run user factory create, the ID is one because it starts fresh after truncate in most cases it's not a bug it's a feature it's a logical behavior you just need to know how it works because even if you delete for example user id 3 i've seeded a few more fake records so you delete that one maybe there is a record related to user id 3 maybe without foreign key but that user id may be active somewhere in reports or something like that so that id should be reserved kind of forever but if you need to change that for whatever reason alter table users auto increment equals three let's try to launch that successful and now if we run user factory create what would be the new id id three although we have just deleted the id three but we manually have reset the next value of auto increment column so that was a quick tip about databases and i talk more about databases and their structure in one of my courses which i recommend you to watch it's called how to structure databases in laravel and i will link that in the description below if you want to purchase that course and that way support this youtube channel that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos